It is very, very easy to level gear really quickly, and I actually ended up getting me a new set of uh, goggles here, as you guys can see. So we got the new uh, Night Visions, has these, yep, looks pretty cool. But uh, with that said, you guys are wondering um, if you guys are clicking in this video or even just clicking onto the live stream because I'm streaming. But if you guys want to know how to level your gear very quickly, and the reason I'm saying that is you guys know I started this, like, what, not yesterday, but the day before, done a short stream, and then... Uh, pretty much played a little bit today, which, again, I'm only XP level 17, so I'm only a level 17. This is my very first character in-game, and you guys can see we're already at gear level 83. For being 17, we're gear level 83. So, how to do this is very, very, very simple in this game. One, it will use a lot of the uh, in-game currency, so if you guys are going to be doing this, you're going to need a lot of in-game currency for the shop. Give me one sec to pop into comments and welcome you. I just started streaming, I wanted to get the intro out of the way before I even popped in, because I actually have to get the comments going to them now. And I should be in the comments now. What's up, me too? How you doing, broski? All right. So, with that said, uh, if you guys are looking to level up really quickly, you will need to get a lot of the currency for the in-game shop, in shop. And if you guys are wondering what shop I'm talking about, it is the one that is right here in front of us. This right here. So, if you guys are playing with gear level on, you're going to be using this a lot if you want to speed through gear. But if you're playing with gear level off, then this won't matter to you. This video won't because gear level doesn't pop up. But if you guys are playing with gear level, I the best way to do this, as you for. guys can see here, this is a level 84 DMR. If I wanted to get this, I could go ahead and buy this, which would help me on my gear level a little bit. But not very much for the fact that it's only 84. But there will be items in here, like this helmet here is an 84. But again, my helmet's, I think, already an 84. So you guys will see, like, this goes down by 2. So yeah, I'm at 84 already. My combat boots, you guys can see here, this is 83, it goes up by 1, so I could go ahead and buy this if I wanted, but as you go out and loot, you're going to notice your gear levels start going up a little bit. Try to moderate it at 12, because by you hit 12, you'll probably see gear level 15 items, go and buy them, go out, loot again, and keep doing that, and you're going to notice you're going to jump every, like, 3 or 4 levels on a really fast scale till you start getting up to 20s, because then when you're at 24, you'll see 26, 28 level items, and you're going to keep doing that on a constant, and you're going to be able to get yourself all the way up really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and buy these boots just because I want them. They're 600. Um, and that'll help with, again, the level. So now you guys can see, like, I went up in one level for this. But I'll show you guys how it looks when you're out and about as well. So we're going to hit this. You guys can see we get this, which is XP bonus and stamina. And these only give me explosive resistance. So, again, I got double for that, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and remove this from the thing and then dismantle it. There we go. So, you guys can see now we're setting at 83 still. But you can see 83, 83, 83, 84, 82, 84. Um, all these are 82s and 84s as well, which is pretty good. But we're going to head out and keep going and going and going. So, to do that, instead of like going out the door and flying in every direction, we're going to look to where we want to go. What has a weapon or armor or something I can grab, like this here, okay? So this has a UMP crate, it has a stoner crate, it has a beanie, and it has gloves. Plus it has 2,000 skill credits. We want to go there. Now we need to find a close bivic in order to get there faster. So actually right now the closest bivic uh, is actually pretty far away. It's like right here, which is about the same distance we are in the cave. But we're going to go ahead and go to this Bivik, and then we're going to go onto the Bivik, get our helicopter out, which we do have one heli. You get it for free. I believe everyone gets it. It's the first heli in the game. But you have to buy the rest. I want to wait till I save up to 20,000 to get one of the uh, helis that get... Oh, not 20. 55,000. To get one of the helis that have boom booms on them, like the rockets and stuff. That way, it's easier to kill a lot of things, because I wonder how easy it is to kill the tanks. Like, the uh, the big tanks that drive around and, ha and protect those towers that we seen the other day. I wonder if we get helis with boom-booms on them, if we can boom-boom the, uh, you know, the stuff and get it going very nicely. 
Terminators are actually going to die fairly quickly now. Uh, we do have Terminators turned on. Uh, I wish I didn't, but we do. Again, we got to go into the Bivik, which is right here. It's a little campfire thing, which this one's kind of needing to be stomped down. Which she'll... Actually, she's not going to stomp it. It's already stomped. Nice. So we can go ahead and skip this. And what we're going to do is now we're going to hit Deploy. So Break Camp. Leave right now. When we do that, it's going to break from the camp. And our helicopter is going to be spawned. As you guys can see there, the white little chopper there. That's our chopper. Alright, well, let's go grab this nice helicopter. Now the funny thing is it's supposed to be a black heli. So I think in different regions it has different colors. But you can see it's a non-gun chopper. It's just one for mobile, like mobilization, which is pretty okay. It's a chopper. It helps us get around. We're going to fly the 1.7. Actually, we're going to fly probably about... Ooh, oh, so out of the 1.4, we'll fly 1.3. And that's a tank trying to spot us, which did spot us. And usually that means there's going to be missiles. But I think I got out of the... Yeah, I got out of there so it couldn't see me. Alright, so now when we reach 400 out, we'll be able to land down right here. Skadoosh, boy. We got a doorway right in front of us. Actually, that's not a doorway, so we're going to have to find a doorway. Not too worried. There will be a lot of enemies here. So we need to be a tad bit careful when going in. I mean, I don't mind to go guns blazing and loud. I mean, you get the tank in this game so hard, man. Like, you are a tank. They shoot you, you only goes down by like one one little like one little like someone pinched a grain of salt. That's basically all it goes down in when you get shot. So I'm not too worried about getting shot, but we do, however, have a case that's right over here, and I think it's somewhere up here. Hold on. Is it it might be Where's this case? It says it's like right around here. So I think it's up there. It's just not showing up. Yeah, it's all the way up there easy we are going to climb this ladder and go get it this is going to be case numero uno one i don't know why my character stopped hopefully i don't get shot off this ladder so hard i don't know why my dude stopped at the mid yo sniper Woo nope bye bye throat nope yep there goes throat you got kissed boy xp level up now i'm at 18 it grants me something I want to get, which is actually going to help us into not the gear. Ooh, actually, we got something new in the gear. Oh, we got gloves. Dude, 84, throw technique, and ooh. So you guys can see we went from 82 to 84 being out here, and we're just going to constantly do this. You want to play for about an hour out here or however long your speed of movement is. But there's our one skill point. So I think I have enough to go get something I want to grab, which I do want to get in my skills, but I want to get up here first. The black, uh, the black hawk gloves are my favorite gloves in this game, dude. Just by how they look. But we're going to go to the skill tree. We're going to go up here, and there's a skill right here. This is what I want to grab. But it's two skill credits, so we might have to wait. Yeah, so we're going to get another skill credit, and then we got to go for two more, because I want this as well. Be uh, better quality weapons and building weapons on demand. There we go, there's UMP-45, that's a level 83, that's one higher than what we have on one of our guns, so this is a level 80, 82. Let's go and grab this UMP-45, uh, deck it out however we want, so I like to use the extended, and then from the SMG barrel we use the, the suppressor, the rail covers the APTL-3 dot, um, built-in iron sight, we're actually going to change that, ooh, it has to be built-in, okay. Uh, auto burst, um, then under barrel rel is going to be the RU, because I think that's the only thing that let it pop up this time. Yeah, RU vertical foregrip, alright. Which looks like this. We're going to go to paint, we're going to go from gray to this red color. And you guys can see we have now an 83 UMP45, which I have not done any levels to this UMP. And it already does 25 damage, which is pretty okay compared to what we have, but we're going to go ahead and uh, edit and gunsmith on this because we need to go ahead and do this, which will let me get this into the other bit we need, which is tier three, which all I need now is the high end weapon parts. All right, with that said, now we can go into this. We can grab this, remove from preset, and then dismantle it. 
then let's go in here and take a quick look. So we got like improved parts, uh, metal parts. We have enough for those, but then we don't have enough for these. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. At the moment, that's fine. We'll be giving, getting rid of that later anyways. We're at 83, 84. Uh, all these are 84s except for the two down here, which is nice. I would love to get 84 purples for those. But now all we have to do is climb the ladder down. We're going to slide down the ladder, so you just hold circle. That'll let us slide down at a safe rate. As you guys can see, that sniper only took just a little bit of damage off me, and then I healed it back just basically Cover. immediately. Don't worry about a sniper shooting me. He isn't going to kill me in one hit. Um, there are more cases here, so we got to find them. I think they're further into the compound, so we just got to go in the compound and just look for them. Shit! Sniper set to fire! Like it's so good I can kill you in one hit with my MK14 EBR, which is basically the Terminator MK14. You ready, boys? <laughs> that turret didn't do shit, bro. I ain't scared of turrets no more. I ain't scared of anything in this game anymore, man. That was too easy. Uh, it's all the way up top. There's a Terminator here. I can tell because these guys are in a fight. Okay, there's a USG pistol for uh, 85. So we'll be able to upgrade that in a second. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, this pistol now has been upgraded to 85. We're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this pistol for a moment. So we're going to remove from presets and dismantle it. Um, which now puts us with the USG 45. But as you guys can see, this gun ridiculously great men one taps i'm even spotted guys you already seen he was shooting at me um so i love it when people say that this gun is actually shit which is the um terminator's weapon but it's actually pretty fucking good man i'm not gonna lie it's good look at that a beanie for 83 all right that's a level down so we're not gonna worry about it we'll go ahead and just get rid of it but right here's a, a terminator look at this he's missing a good chunk of his health already from like everything shooting him, but that's dead. Damn it! All right. just wasted Delta One. Bye bye. I can run off the roof here because it's not gonna do too too much damage to me. Let's grab this. He's gonna be shooting at me, which is great. Let him do it while I'm picking up all these pickups. We're gonna go to our nice MP5 here. We're just going to chunk out his health for a second. So you guys can see he's under half now, and I haven't really used too much. He's going to remove some of my health, so we'll just kind of do this, let it heal up, come back out. Be point blank onto him, because in a second, we'll grab a couple headshots on him. That'll back him up a tad bit, and then body shot him so he falls down. Look at that. His health chunked out. Now we go to our Terminator weapon. That guy spotted. He's not dead yet. Let him get up. Think we're good. Bye bye, big boy. Terminator down. It's that simple to kill Terminators, boys. Um, just use like a small arms weapon to remove the health. So that way the hole opens up and then go directly for the hole with your uh, Terminator weapon. Very simple to kill them. Let's go ahead and do this. Open up this case. And there's the uh, stoner, which is a level 89. Actually, we'll go ahead and trade our nice little machine gun here for it. So now we'll go from 83 to 89. Uh, I do want to upgrade the LMGs because I heard they're pretty good against the tanks. So let's go to Gunsmith and check out this stuff here. Improved weapon parts, uh, LMG parts, standard weapon, standard weapon, uh, metal part, and a metal part, which takes us to Mark II. Accuracy again, improved, 
advanced and then advanced and LMG part. Okay, nice, not bad. Metal part is all we need for those. But we don't have that mat we don't have the magazine for this for extended. I wish I did, but I don't. Um there's no suppressor, so that's fine. Rail cover, we're gonna go the April 3. Comp M4 is gonna be something like the panoramic. And the grip is actually gonna be grip. Why not? Uh paint. Let's see how this bad boy looks if we throw the red onto it. And we are basically good to go, guys. I mean, like, it's going to eat up a lot of ammo, but we'll see how this thing goes, man. It's a good way to keep getting your gear level higher and higher. So the only thing I won't use is shotguns. Hey, Dad. But it's how all good. How you doing? What's up there, FaZe? How you doing, man? Um, I'm doing wonderful. Um, how are you, FaZe? All right, so we got a question mark out this way. So let's go ahead and pop our drone. And see if we see it, because if we do, we'll be able to just do the other thing, which I doubt I'm going to get eyes on this question mark, because it could be kind of far away. Yeah, I think it's far away. That's good, FaZe. Um, we actually advanced a lot in our levels, guys, especially for you, FaZe, uh, for you to notice. I meant to dismantle this. Um, we're now all the way into level 80, pretty much, for our gear. Just wanted to show that out of the way. Now, I'm kind of wanting to go to one of these. Um, but I'm not going for that. I'm going for something else. So with that said, um, I'm going to have to find when I have it done because they give off two skill points. So you guys can see we can mark this and find a Bivik near there, actually. Forgot to do that. Um, do we have a Bivik near it? Is the best question for this I don't think I do no I actually do not have a bivic near it which is kind of sad but it's fine we have a bivic right here near this but that's also um all right we'll go here get our heli and fly out, which I actually forgot there's a heli in this base location. So I just did something I didn't want to have to do. But gear level is super easy to do, guys. Just keep going and getting crates, getting those weapons up. And the cool thing is, is like it seems like every like every 24 hours or something, the gun cases reset. So you can actually go out and re-go get the gun cases or like skill credit, like, you know the credit cases or even other cases they will reset but not like actual gun gun cases for blueprints but the actual like other thing i need to deploy the bivic so we can get into this my other son area. just ate a dandy line oh that's a rip I forgot I could skip this. Um, Alright, go ahead and hit break camp. Uh, let's see. This time, let's try 649 for the fact, like, that's going to go back into nighttime. So I think this will be, will stay day. Or actually, maybe nighttime. Nope, it's day. There we go, we're back into day. Perfect. Um, which will also get our heli up here. And we'll use that to get to our location. I kind of want to see how this LMG is now that it's like Mark II. Um, although I won't start doing tanks to like Mark III, full upgrade on Mark III, and then get like higher level gear so I can hold more ammo and more other things. But we're going this way. Um, and also don't want to start doing tanks till I get a rocket heli because if I get a rocket heli I feel like the tanks will be a little bit easier because I can just send rockets down at a constant infinite amount just like there's no ammo counter on these helis so I can just sit there and, shoo, 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 and then just blow it up which to me is a lot better so maybe if I get a good team on I could use the rocket heli when I can afford one or make sure the team has a rocket heli 
um, they can hit whatever they want, meaning like, you know, on the tank, just constantly keep dropping the, the missiles on the tank, and then I sit down with like a rocket launcher, um, crafted a lot of them, or a grenade launcher for the first bit and switch to an LMG for the second bit, because I feel like that might actually make everything much easier for the tanks on killing them, because I heard you actually get some parts and some good stuff from the tanks. And since they count as a drone, uh, because they're drone-held tanks, um, there is a perk to gain more parts from drones. Um, so with that said, maybe killing the tanks would be great for getting parts after I get that perk. Who knows? But, you know, there is a perk for that, and I've also heard tanks give good parts, but they're a pain in the ass to kill. Only other downside to this is you only get like a little bit like 500 ammo, which is like really great if you're going against one base of enemies. But over the long term, if the enemies don't drop ammo back for you, you are ripperonied. Um, he should have really not been seeing me. He actually shouldn't see me right now, but for some reason he gets to. Oh, bye bye, Heli. Thanks, Watch Tree. Oh, it's a behemoth. Yes. The worst fudging tank in this entire thing, dude. The behemoth. He already knows we're here. Um, I don't know what his plan is, but we are going to go this way. And the behemoth is right there. So we're just going to lay down and let this thing get past us. Uh-oh. I've done the thing and it didn't... I hope he doesn't spot me. Because I did the thing, as you guys can see, but I'm not covered in dirt or mud. I'm literally still just straight red and black. So I'm hoping this didn't bug out and he'll just be like, Enemy, tango, one meter, fire. Because then that would just be scary. I'm going for that, which is the two. Right there, the, the one with the double arrow up. And then we'll also get that as well, whatever that's going to be. Usually it's a blueprint. Oh, this tank just needs to move on. <laughs> please, please just move on, Mr. Tank. I oh, don't tell me he just goes back in between those two positions. Because if it is, that's going to suck. That's going to be big fat rips. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He doesn't know I'm here. Doesn't know I'm here. Doesn't know I'm here. Okay, I still didn't get a lot of mud on me, but it's fine. He won't see me. I've actually made it really close to the stairwell, which is nice. So I'm hoping I can make it really far without being spotted. Oh no, he's coming this way. That's a fat rip. I mean, I'm like right next to the stairs though, so maybe he won't pull up all the way on me. Maybe he'll stop late like, back there and then go back around. But if he does, that's going to be helpful because I can make it up this if he does. And then afterwards, it doesn't matter if he spots me or not because I can just get GTFO out of here. As long, Actually, no, 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 no. Because if I get up there and, and he doesn't spot me, that's great. Because I can just deploy my drone and go straight to a Bivik. Oh no, he's going to run me over. He's going to run me over. Please stop, 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 stop. Oh god, no. He's pushing me backwards. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't actually crush me. But I'll go with it. I'm a lucky cunt. 
I mean, how do you not see, like, the red, though? The red and black. Like, my weapon would give me away. My night vision goggles would give me away. How about, like, the redness going through this green? Like, how is this even working? Is the real bit of, like, you know, shittery here? <laughs> I would love to know how, like, red blends in with green to a tank. I don't know, maybe these guys might be colorblind, and it's like colorblind where it makes red look green, <laughs> and black looks brown. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I have to make jokes with that, because the devs really made this game so bad. Oh, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Please don't spot me, please don't spot me, please don't spot me. Yes, he has no clue. And this is my upgrade, which I needed three for the first one, I believe. So I can go ahead and get, oh wait, that was the skill. Wait a minute. There you go. That's weird. I felt like I overclicked. Here we go. Oh, it's only two. Okay. And then the next one's this, which is two. Oh, they're only two. Okay, so I just need one more skill point and I'll have the armory upgrade. We're good though, so now scale credits should be given to me a lot better in both this and the PvP. It's actually great. You move on somewhere. I don't want to see you around here no more. I actually don't know what tier level this tank is, and that that scares me because one reason. If this tank is like a skill level 100, I'm just one tapped, bro. I mean, I I'm gone, bro. It it's that, like, uh, you know, prone chem will better work immediately <laughs> type deal. <laughs> I just need to make it up this now and around the other side. Maybe if I crawl to the ladder, you know what I mean? Just a little bit further. So now when he loses his interest, he's like, yeah, there's nothing here. I can just wait and then climb the ladder. Because right now he's still like, enemy, heard. From 100, actually 25 meters. Actually, he can't see me right now, can he? No, he can't. We'll just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's like right there, dude. You can see him through the metal mesh of that four. His guns are still out, so he's still like, enemy, 25 meters, heard, maybe rat. <laughs> uh, if I'm going for it, I'm just going to go for it. Fuck it. He's going to spot me. He's going to spot me. He's going to spot me. <gasps> he did spot me. I'll take this case. It's going to be clothing. Oh, black paint. D. Alright. You know what? If it says D in the name, it better be red paint. <laughs> we got a new uh, one of these guys. Um, this is now the black paint, which I, I don't like. Okay, that was a waste of time. But now that I'm actually not spotted, I want this ammo. Oh, I don't need ammo. It's 598. 598? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is pistol. What does it get? 598? Um, okay. Uh, we are going to use our drone, not the tack map, first of all, and locate a Bivic point. Uh, you bitch! Okay, I can't, like... Oh, dude, there's another crate right over there, man. Oh, no. This game's, like, throw a crate so Demonic wants to go for it. Do it now. <laughs> there's a crate, man. Oh, my God. I just want to get past this tank, yo. Oh, no. Please don't spot me. Please don't spot me. We need a Bivic point. Please be a Bivic point somewhere between this. Nope. Oh, hell no. There's no Bivic there. 
Let's get the drone right here, maybe. Map updated. Let's get it out of here where it's out of sight of this thing, and maybe the bivik, maybe a bivik might be around here. Oh, it's right here. Map. Okay, no bivik. Uh, is that a bivik? Nope. How about that? Please be a bivik. Nope. One of these has got to be a bivik, man. I swear it. No. Oh, don't tell me the Bivik's, like, over the hill somewhere. That's not even a Bivik. Oh, that's a... Wait, 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 wait. We have another questie. Oh. You fought bastard, you. Dude, really? Is there not going to be a Bivik anywhere near me? Dude, you're fucking kidding me, yo. Dude, there's got to be a Bivik. Yo. Bivik, please, game. <laughs> yes, I'm in two battery mode. You're kidding me, right, game? Wait, it's right there. No Bivik yet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Dude, this game doesn't want to give me a Bivik. You're fucking kidding me, right? Dude, it's like up here. You're kidding me, right, game? Dude, it's not gonna show me this, really. Dude, this game is like, don't give Demonic the Bivik. Whatever you do, do not give him the Bivik. Dude. <laughs> I gotta get it close as possible. Oh wait, I can see the question mark. You're kidding, right? It's red battery. Fuck, bro. Dude, where's this fucking tank? Oh, it's right there, yo. Ah, <sighs> looks like we're going for this crate, boys. Oh, it's going the opposite way. Shiza. <laughs> book it, book it, because it's going to take the road. Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Get outside the fence, outside the fence. That's all that matters. Out of the fence. <gasps> I made it to the fucking chest, guys. Oh, that tank was so ridiculous, and it didn't want to give me a fucking Bivik, bro. But there we go, an 87 for the gloves, man. It's plastic, but whatever, bro. Whatever. It's a better glove. It's 87. Health regen speed, throw range. Yeah, we'll take it. I hate plastic gloves, but we'll take it for now. Um, sorry, old friend of purple, but you gotta go for now. Alright. So again, that's 87. So to show you guys right quick, if I go, uh, not the skills, but to here, now we're 85 from 82 where we were. 
Um, I could actually end up probably getting some better gear throughout this right here, almost into the 90s now. But I want to do one more search. Um, I don't think this is the only crate, was it, that I seen on the map when I was, like, out flying. Because this place here is trying to load in a way. So let's kind of get a little closer. Oh, there's, a tr there's literally a fucking this needs to be located. Alright. Um... Here we go. That's the question mark I couldn't see earlier. And it's a Bivik! Wow! The Bivik's like all the way over there. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna... I, I, I want to slap this game so hard. <laughs> I couldn't just get away from the tank. I had to sneak out. The game's like, nah, dude. We ain't gonna let you just do your thing, dude. You gotta sneak out of this one. 100%. Prove to me you're demonic. Another... Another Bivik. Really? Really, when I'm away from the tank, you're going to give me the pivics. Oh, let's head down here, boys. Uh, I'm not going to worry about taking a car or a vehicle just yet. Let's see where this goes. And we're going to take the easy way down, just straight down it. Girl, you ain't got nothing. Oh. They're right there. They're in there. She so guys, how overpowered this rifle is. On your toes, everyone. We got hostiles in the area. We hear about how Freeport turned out. It was a mess. Far from easy. The cheese struggle. Wait for it. Wait for it. I am so bad with the scope. Oh, there's more? Oh, shite. I did not see these. Breacher sighted. He's downed. If I headshot them, it would have been a one shot, or at least a really high level, uh, a really high chest shot would have been a one shot as well. All right, you know what? We already went loud. Enemy down. Oh my god, dude, this LMG was ridiculous, dude. Eighty-five. Oh, but that goes down in level. Fat rip, yo. All right, let's keep going. Pick up the stuff that dropped here, and then we're going to keep moving into that village that's up ahead. Yeah, alright, right here. Don't need any of that, okay. Let's see what's in this, because it looks like there's a crate here. We're going to grab the crate, because that's going to be something definitely. I feel it, it's going to be a gun or a uniform, and it's going to be at a better level. I believe in it. It's a crate. 87. Oh, plus 3. I don't like that it's going to be taking away my other stuff, but this is ammo and explosive damage, which is actually better towards, like, the ammo part of it. Sorry, guys. Remove from favorite and bloop. Um... There we go, boys. You guys can see now my level now is close to 90. It's 85. We've only played for just a tad bit. Let's go for our next location, which is just up the hill from us. Actually, hold on. Make sure I'm not... That's the tank again. Uh, where we mean to go is over here. Because this is going to give us a purple weapon, two blue weapons, a helmet, and some other stuff. There we go. 
So that's what this place is going to give us. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'll take it. That's going to set me up in rank a little bit more. And then I'll be able to go to the shop to show you guys through the money expense why it takes a little bit to expand. It's like fifth, like it's like 1,000 to 1,500 or so per item now for level like 80s, 90-ish uh, type stuff. But we also have enemies here. Um, ooh, that's the gun case. So you know where I'm going to first, boys. We're going to that gun case. But first, I have to go through the gate. Alright, let's go to our pistol. We get 13 rounds with it. <coughs> Located a bad guy over there. Three, two, one, get up. Oh, God. Who else that like Lady, shut the fuck up, there. please. I don't have to put a cap into a civilian's ass for them fucking speaking up and about to pull the, uh, you know. Okay, a bad guy over there. We have people in the compound bullshit thing that you've been doing. When your best friend could be dying because of these cunts. Got a rocket gunner. Oh, do we have two things in here? Even a skill credit chest, which is great. There we go. There's a sniper. Oh, that's 87, but that's going down. That's fine. That lets me get the... Other thing I'm looking for, uh oh, it's up top actually, it wasn't down here, it's up here, oh wait, that looks like all the way up top, Got one. Over there. how do we get all the way up there, Got a hostile. I haven't killed anyone yet, but I'm trying to figure out how to get up there, maybe there's a ladder outside, if there is, dude, I need to go through that, uh, fat rip for me, this dude here is going to hear me if I jump down. So we're going to have to take the stairwell, and hopefully we're quiet enough that he doesn't hear it. We need to carry his body out of the way. And out of the way means behind these crates. Right here. <laughs> Guy, I stop. I need to. My friends need to stop inviting me to stuff that I don't play. I don't play Gapex Legends, nor Gay Knight. Sorry, I have to say it quite mean, but I'm tired of getting invited to games I don't play. Like, 100% tired of it. I don't think it's like up here, up here. But there might be a crate up here, which there is. There's a place inside here that gets the other bit, but there's 2,000 uh, scale credits. That's how. Alright. Straight to the weapon. And there's the AUG blueprint. Nice. Alright. Now we need to figure out how to get to the next areas. They do have a gun. This is a waste of time. There ain't shit out here. Well, that's a fat rip. This dude actually goes this way. Do 
he might spot the huh? thing. Oh, Bob is down. Jesus, hostile. Sweet shot, ghost lead. Huh? Bob is down. Just happened. Oh no, dudes. Maneuvering to the target. Moving in on hostile. Ready, ghost lead. When they get to a specific point, I want to make sure nothing hears them. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it now. Well done. See a rocket gunner. Got it, boys. Got it. We need to hurry because we're gonna have a patrol coming up. Located a bad guy over there. Getting in position. Good to go. We've got a hostile position there. Killed him. Solid work. I shoot the ground because that's how you tell them that you want them to. Uh, oh, but dead body found. Shit, there's some people that was right here that wasn't on drone. Hold on. Wasn't. Oh, dude, it's a ton of them. Fat rips. Fat rips. And our last crate is all the way up there. Dude, I'm about to get spotted. And I don't see what's about to spot me. Was it this guy? Had to be this guy. It's okay. the only thing okay, that could definitely have. Here somewhere. Off. You're right that I'm just showing off ghosts, but sometimes, sometimes it needs to be done. We gotta clear the base a little bit, guys, before. So these guys don't just, uh. Heads up, bad guy over there. Whoops. Copy, boss. Moving there. Spotted one. There. Moving in. Roger. Moving. Set on the drone operator. Got that hostile. Damn it. There's a rocket gunner. Rock and roll. Nicely done. Stay low. Hostiles are on alert. Not too worried, boys. Hey, stay alert. We got company. Contact, guys. We got trouble. Roger that. Time to earn your pay, boys. HVT's on the move. Enemy activity in our area. Oh, they're gonna spot me. Not much I can do on that one. We got a rocket coming. Hostile con. Like sort of just a tap in when I wanted. Drones. That's the stuff. Watch for targets. Drone dead. All right. Head on the swivel, boys. Oh, dude, there's like two crates right here. It's right there and right over there. Be ashamed to stop now. Alright, they're alerted to us. You know what that means. We can pull out the nice LMG and go mayhem on these guys.
through terrorism, treason, and mass murder. There's blood on your hands too, Nomad. We Shot both pave the road in blood to get what we want. More people will die. That is He's their dead. destiny. More people will fall to herald my dawning. He's down. Wow, this dude's crazy. Straight in. There we go, some pants. These are 87, which is better than what we already have. Big boom. We can go here now, which is going to be XP bonus and explosion resistance. I'm not worried about the ammo at all. Because of one reason, we're 86, which means we're basically going to make 90 almost when we get back to base. And you guys will see, like, we went from a really low level to basically 90 by just one trip out. And I started at, like, I think 60 today. Bye-bye. Okay, this is bottom floor. In here. Uh, back one more. To my right and go upstairs. And this crate's on this floor. In here. So we're going to go grab it. And then i got to remember the one crate that's still outside on the yellow. Oh, there's a purple thing down there somewhere. But there we go. There's a 7. Uh, 88. A helmet. So yeah, we're going to be really high tier, boys. Like, this is going to be stealth and health regen. I like the purple, but I want to get purple at a higher level, if you guys know what I mean. Um, the LMG, TAC-50, not going to worry about it. We're just going to go ahead and dismantle that. And head our way back downstairs and go towards the purple that we've seen. Uh, I wish I could man mental it. Slash, like, you know, vault it. Bad day, boss. Incoming rocket. Bad day, boss. Incoming rocket. I mean, that does sound like a little bit of a bad day, doesn't it? When a rocket gets shot at you. There's a purple. It's right here. So there's something here that's a purple. Oh, dude, 89. That feels something much better than this LMG. I'm sorry. Um... The 89 is going to be swapped with an 89. Uh, this will be swapped with that. So we go to 87. I can go ahead and dismantle this for the fact like I can buy another one and it'll pop up at 90 basically. So that's actually pretty good. So you guys can see we're getting really high up in our uh, bits here. We didn't edit this, but that's fine. I don't need to edit it. We are going to go this way because there's another crate back here in this building. Take that out. This is a guy right here. Heads up, bad guy over there. Moving, finding cover. Boom! Clean hit, boss. Yep. Easy. They're still uh, calling for us, meaning like they're still combing around the base to look for us. But we made it to our next crate that we're going for. This place has a lot of crates, man. I still got one more crate to go to. Oh, this is that pistol. Um, which is an 89. Which is the same as that, but it's a purple, so we're going to get rid of that one. It's the same pistol, but I'll take the uh, purple one over blue anytime. So as you guys can see, we get the parts, we get these nice neat little things. We are going to go to the last crate that I've seen, which is over here, uh, up there somewhere. It's on this back one, so we need to find the ladder to this back one here, which is right here in front of us. Plop up here, grab this, and show you guys, like, we went from, like, what, 80 to 90 in one stream, and... It hasn't even been that long, and to show you guys, like, it's super easy. So, when you're out, it is a, it is very expensive to do the buy route, which a lot of people are going to be doing, but there you go. Um, an 87 on that, so we'll go ahead and scrap it.
since we don't need it. Um, both of our guns are in almost 90. So you can see we're in 89, um, 87 ish range, except for the boots, they're 83s. But to show you guys like how fast this can go up is very, very, very ridiculous. Let's go to collectibles right quick. And right here, uh, that's our new, do we have anything new under any of these? No, we do not. Which means it's under weapons, which is that blueprint we found for the AUG. And one more. Okay, what's it under? It's under this. Long Road to Victory. Go ahead and get all these out of here. And that gets rid of all our news. Um, now we can go ahead and fast travel to base. Wherever that is going to be. But also, hold on, I want to see. We got one skill point. Uh, while we're out, let's go look for another skill point, shall we? What all did it say was here? Yeah, we acquired everything here. Okay. Uh, that skill credits. That's going to be UMP-45. That's going to be a pistol and an LMG. That's going to be skill credits. Um, I do kind of want to go there, but I can't go there while in a fight. So with that said, we need to kind of get the other bits going. But I won't take fall damage too much here. So we're just going to jump off that. And the biggest thing is that Terminator It's back there. That's kind of what's doing the things. But we're going to go for the information information that's in here, which is on the second floor. So we're going to go up and straight back. We're going to get the information from this guy here, or this laptop, my bad. And this might give us some information towards weapon locations and stuff like that, which I don't think this one will. Locate the VIP, faction support. All right. Not going to worry about that then. Uh, we'll just go ahead and grab it, but we're not going to worry about it. Um, which is a mission nearby. Not too worried. Uh, Alright. I'm clean. With that said, now we can go up here to this Bivik, and we're going to see what these four locations give off here to see if they give uh, any credits. Well, not credits, but um, the upgrade stuff, because if they do, that'll be very simple to get the last upgrade that I want, which is going to give me better stuff through the shop. And with that said, I will be able to get even better things, which you guys will as well. But you guys will be able to get your way up pretty quickly. Uh, the question marks are out that way. Definitely straight ahead of me. All right. Let's see what these question marks give off. Because I should be able to see this one, I think, somewhere through here. Ooh, they might be, like, inside a place or, like way like down here okay you're gonna tell me I can't see that question mark you're kidding me this game has the best jokes of its life okay there we go all right all right so yeah I think it's like in a cave or it's like directly below me like it's down here oh it's a crash boat all right and this one's got to be this thing right here, or the boat. Oh, it's this. I'll bet there's good intel here. Yeah, some intel. Which means maybe I need to be looking... Oh, it's that, I think. But i got to get closer. Oh, it's this. Okay. Map updated. Alright, that's all four. Let's see what each gives. Oh, there's actually a couple more, but that does nothing. That gives pants. This is scale credits. Uh scale credits. A sniper or two, some gloves. Don't really want that though. Let's see, there's something right here, which is going to give me scale credit. Something right here that's going to give me that. But there's a couple more question marks. One here. 400 meters away. Okay, 300. 200, yeah, it's over this cliff. Somewhere down here 
It says there's something somewhere here. It's a question mark. It's only a hundred out. Ah, uh, it's a cave. Yeah, all right, it's a cave location. Ah. Uh, See, there's this guy, which is going to be uh, Pirate Ruins, which is this. It doesn't give anything but that. All right. So the cave doesn't have anything in store for me that I like. Uh, I mean, there's this, but that's a G28. It's 1,000. That's 500. Uh, okay, so that's 2,000, basically, for those... 4,500. All right, I mean, it's not bad, but like, it's bad. Let's see, that gives me equipment. Oh, it's a patch. Uh, strike shoulder pad, all right. Let's see, okay, 14. Got that. Alright, hold on. Is there like. There is. I'm looking for the mission. Oh, HTI blueprint. Okay, we got that. Pretty much. There's a lot of these question marks around. Collectible social call. We can actually end up getting a purple sniper and a purple version of that. Uh, all right, let's just go here and show you guys um, fast travel here and show you guys what we got so far and where we can basically get from 80 to going to 90 pretty much or 70 going to 80. I don't remember what we are. I think we're 80, like 87, 88, which this will get us into like 90 ish in, in level when we get in here i say ish because some of it might not be 90s it'll just be high 80s so we might have to go high 80s first but it is going to be stuff that we have to buy so skill credits probably was a good idea to go get but it's fine that we didn't but yeah uh there's like 111 hints guys you guys can literally just go through and read like 111 hints out of this There we go. Come on in here. You fighting a good fight out there, buddy? Let's Any go over here to the shop. Show you guys this. My ass we'll go to there. shop, and then you guys will see we do this. Level 90 Scorpion Evo 3, guys. Like, it's already showing some level 90 stuff. 91 for this LMG. Um... 88 for that, 89 for this, 89 for that, 90 for this 1911. Let's see, we got 90 going for, 91 going on this wolf armor, so I'll definitely take that, which is 1200. We'll go for the 90 on the polar fleece beanie, 90 on the uh, gloves, uh, 89 for the CPU pants. And 89 for the boots, which is going to take a lot in our cash, but it's fine for one reason. Because when we trade out, we'll be able to trade out. But first, we're going to go here and go to this, and you guys will see like 88 to 94, 88 to 94, 88 to 94. You'll see all of that. But if we go to the pistol, 91, right? For this pistol then we're gonna go to our rifle here uh this one and you'll see 91. 
so now we grab these at 91. Like I said, it's going to be very expensive, so you guys are going to be spending a lot of cash, especially if you're in higher levels and everything starts costing like 20 times more. But let's go to our backpack. You guys will see we'll go to this, our tam Terminator weapons there. So we're going to go ahead and take the 91 here, grab out this bad boy, and we're just going to remove it from preset and do that. This bad boy, there's nothing there. Uh, this pistol, we're going to go ahead and trade out with our suppressed pistol. That's also like a Mark II variant of this pistol. Uh, get rid of this uh, F40. Boom. So now we're in 88 territory, guys. Um, but wait, there's more. Don't forget, we have the 90 in level fleece. Which now we can get rid of this, which again, I don't mind losing for a moment. Uh, we got our gloves that we're going to put on, which is level 90. Oof. Um, and get rid of these. All right. We got our nice 91 vest, which now puts us at 89. Notice we're really close to 90, guys. We're going from 80 to 90. Um, this 87, which is going to be an 89. Get rid of these, which I'm going to miss having my XP bonus, but that's fine. And I'm going to miss having my XP bonus again, but that's fine. 88, so we're still at 89. And get rid of this. So now we're in the 90s range, guys. Like, look at that. 90, 90. Only when it's not as this is, you know, 89. Um, same with, like, the boots and the pants. Everything else is 90. But you ever see this coming? Let's back it up. Go back into the shop because sometimes it does redo after you let it save. So we'll go back in here and take a quick look. Shop. Uh, give it a second. Still the Evo Evo three there. Look around. See what you like. So uh, we don't have any upgrades here. That's fine, except for the Scorpion Evo three. But I'm not too worried about that. I'm just making sure. They didn't upgrade any of that, which they didn't yet, but that is fine. We're going to go all the way to sell and take a look at some of the stuff we can sell because I believe I picked up some stuff I don't want, which is going to be the mines. I don't need these. Uh, I don't need the C4 charges. Syringe. We don't need the DIY lore or DI or whatever this is. Okay, so we're into a thousand. Old shell. Um, cocoa beans. The obsidian. The kiwi. Pomegranate fruit. Animal protein, uh, coconuts. So as you guys can see, we're making about a little bit back now. Uh, the bananas. Uh, sell my five watermelons. Make 25 from this, not bad. Um, sugar roots. Uh, I don't actually ever craft as much. We'll give the honey because that's 20. Um, the metal parts I'm keeping, because that I will not get rid of. Pineapple I'll get rid of. Aloe vera we'll get rid of. Keep the metal parts. Interstella. Get rid of all these plants. They're not needed. Okay, 1500, let's go back to this, go to, not this, but this, and get ourselves a level, oh wait, it changed, oh wait, no it didn't, no it didn't, because this would have changed, uh, I'm thinking of maybe a level 90 Evo 3, 
Or actually, what we'll do is go with this. 1,400. So we have a really low amount, but it's fine at the moment. Okay. Because now I can go right here and change this out for 91, and we're into 90. Move that. Dismantle it. And now you guys can see we're into the 90s. And it was very, very quick to get here. Elite weapon parts. All right, let's see. Advanced elite metal parts. That took out a ton from my things, but DMR part, DMR part, high-end part, and high-end part. So max level reached for this gun. Nice. This one is mine. Yes, it is. Uh, there we go. Alright, so we reached a max level for Mark III on this and finished off Mark III. So we are very, very good. Uh, again, we're tier 90, and I'm very, very, very ridiculously low in level. Like you guys will see right here, I am a level 18, but my tier level is 90. Like, it's ridiculously offset. Just want to show you that. Like, for instance, okay, so I'm an 18 and my tier level is 90. This dude team? is an 85 and a 20. Meaning he's XP 20 and he's an 85 right here. This dude's a 20 and this and a 44. So 20, 44. Like, they really did not follow that through with their life, mate. This dude's a 26 and a 159. He's actually probably beat me by doing that at the very first instead of me doing what I did now but it's a fat rips dude like straight up this thing is super easy to keep beast moding through let's go ahead and turn our teammates off I like this teammate who is that okay hold on I think this is fix it so who are these two I'm about to figure out which one I like the most um fix it I think is the Okay, fix it is this dude. Fury is going to be the person wearing the hat. And then we have this dude here. Running what? Alright, it's this dude. Vasily. I think is the one I like. Let's see. No. Yeah, it's Vasily that I like. I think. No, it's not. It's fix it. Fix it is the is the skin I like, but it's fine. I also have a really good skin on myself too, so I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I'm okay with it. So yeah, guys, I've just been going through tier level constantly, quick, dude. Are you ready for this fight? Oh wait, I forgot I equipped it in LMG, didn't I? That means I'm full on. Oh wait, I was in the loadout area. Um, fat rips because this one I don't have edited. Um, Mark two immediately. Okay, this thing's gonna go to Mark three pretty quick. CTMMG. Um. So we'll have to stay with the standard, right? Yeah. Uh, rail cover, April 3, panoramic, and that grip. And then we're going to go here and switch out to this. Go back to modify. Make sure there's nothing else to modify. Now we're good. All right. That said, we also all the way done our Terminator. Um, we're missing, I think, just metal parts. Yeah. High end uh, for the pistol and metal parts. Once I do that, this pistol here will be maxed out. Which is nice, yeah. We need to get a pair of eight, like, pair 90, 90, and, you know, these two need to be 90s. Everything else will be 90s, which will put me at 91. And then I need to get one more skill point. In order to unlock this, which is two skill points, which is get better quality weapons when building weapons on demand. Which is really good. Um, Alright, that's actually really darn good, man. 
uh, fat rip to a lot of people who hasn't followed this. But now that we got a level 90, we should be back to one shots again uh, for a good little bit. And again, you just keep going through and getting your gear. Like right here, and get a purple desert eagle. That's pretty nice. Uh, MPX, not worried about it. Uh, helmet's good, but I don't want to worry about it too much. Ranger boots, we have that. Uh, golden, uh, not golden, but that. Uh, I would love to get a lot of golden weapons as well. Let's see, G28. What did that say? PX4. I thought it was like 94% something. My bad, guys. Um, again, some blue gear, but it's kind of not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for um, stuff that's not blue, because I'm looking for purple gear at the moment, like that. P27, Operator's Vest. I mean, that's purple. That's good to go. But I'm still looking for other things. I wonder if the the honey badger now will be at that level or not that's a blueprint for the type 95 plus a skill point um do i have a bivik nearby <laughs> that location oh bivik's don't show up unless i'm in this i don't think the closest bivik is really far away isn't it um Yeah, it's like really far away. The closest Bivik is like all the way down here somewhere. Right here, and it's right next to another tank. But let's go for it, shall we? It'll be fun. Let's go for it. So yeah, guys, getting your tier level on your outfits, you can definitely very outbeat your level, your XP level. Massively beat it. Um... So I can see you can at least be a 150, uh, 150 in level, which kind of frightens me, but me getting up where I am is really nice. I just need to get a lot of my XP done. Um, so the tier is going to just keep going. I believe the tiers don't stop. When, you, when you're in tier mode, I think like if you played enough to get one, level 1,000 gear, you probably might get it. I don't know if there is a cap on it, or a max cap, they could be, but it'd be really high. It'll probably be something like four or five hundred, maybe even six hundred. All right. With that said, let's use the pivot and get my heli, so we can fly to our location that we want to go to. Put it out. What's up, Nomad? Man, she always reminds me of a raider from, like, Fallout with this, like, look she has going on. Uh, I think maybe 214 will be good. Because I think that'll still be daytime. Or I could be wrong. It could be early, early morning. I was very wrong. It's early, 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 early morning. But we do have the heli, we're good to go. Nighttime just makes it a little bit easier, I think, during the tanks. I have no clue, because, well, I mean, the tanks have to spot you. I mean, they have, like, really sensitive hearing. They'll hear you from, like, 10 million miles away, but hey. You know, they still have to spot you. And if I have to go loud, I'm going loud, boys. We got an LMG and everything, so we're going loud. Um, if we have to. But I don't think we will. We just need to fly high enough not to get spotted, which is going to be kind of hard because of the point that's to our left is a tank. So we can't fly super high. Ooh, there's going to be like, drone, like drones and stuff over that. Alright, we're good to go. Fly a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, and forwards. Um, Saws, when he gets home, will be at 11, which is our boy Rob's. Um, when he gets home, he said 11, 11, 30-ish. I'm going to try to stay up all night, guys, just for the fact that like, I don't play with him that often. And I don't talk to Lorelor as much anymore. Um, 
I kind of had the feeling I think I made her mad at me, so I was leaving her alone for a little bit. She never texted me, and then when I finally did text her, she went off on me, so... I mean, it was a fat rip on that point. But yeah, I had a feeling I made her mad because, like, Misty told me that, you know, uh, Lore Lore was getting jealous for the fact, like, I've been playing with Misty, but I haven't been on with Lore Lore, but that's also because the time has just been messed up, like, really messed up. Like, again, I'm not trying to be mean to her, but she's been getting home uh, when I'm going to bed. And then when I'm actually waking up, she's going to work. Um, and that's just, like, bad timing. But she kind of blames me for that. I mean, it kind of is my fault because it's when I chose to go to bed. But, I mean, sometimes when you're just tired, you're tired. Oh, you're kidding me, right, game? Hold on. I think it's like, uh, okay, so I gotta go down to my right. Go down that no way. Behemoth drawn. Mm-hmm. Behemoths are a fudging pain, dude. Um, and when I say a fudging pain, I mean the worst pain in the world. Because once you get it on you, it is a ridiculous That's moment. That guy over there. Uh, hold on, I might, I might do something that I usually wouldn't do, but I'm gonna do to my team. I'm, I'm sorry, team, but go there. Got it. And Why open not? fire. Gotcha. Go in loud. That guy spotted. Noise, that's right. Go for my team. They're about to go down to missiles. That's kind of the downside to these tanks, man. He's about to go down. Yep. How do you know I'm right here, dude? It makes zero sense, Tank. You have not spotted me. You spotted my team, but you didn't spot me, so stop pretend- Can the devs of this game really make their game better, please? I'm tired of, like, I did not get spotted. It already knew I was there anyways. What do you mean, spotting symbol? Look, it's already launching rockets. It did, like, ten years before. What is your problem for making games so bad? If I get hit, I'd rather it be by that. Oh, I'm so hit by this. Yeah, ye. How the fuck is this tank gonna know where I'm at, basically, and be able to drop these on me? You know what? Fuck it, I'm using this. Get off the fucking dumbass fucking aimer game. Okay, give it a minute. How do you know I'm like right here, game? I did not shoot from there. I'm hidden behind a wall. It should not be able to see me. And it does somehow, and it's stupid. Alright, let's just grab this. Right quick, which is the uh, blueprint. 
There's a roof above me, so it actually can't hit me from here. So I'm not going to worry about it. And we're going to go up and go get our perk we want, which is right here. Get better quality weapons and building weapons on demand. No need to worry from right here. What we're going to do is cheese the moment. We're going to go to our uh, team. And this is how you cheese your team. You're going to hit no team, which will remove the team. You're going to come out of the game, so it despawns the team. You're going to go back to your team. Let's hit the Rainbow Six team. So it's Ash, Thatcher, Finca, you know, all that. And boom, they're back up and going. Let's get some. Let's try a sink, sink shot drone on it. Finca needs aid. Healing Finca. Let's reload. And we got it to half health, boys. We're doing pretty okay, actually. Heads up! Mortars incoming! Half hills, pull it off. We might kill this tank, boys, but I don't know. I'm running kind of low on ammo. Uh, we actually will kill this tank. I believe. Hold on, let me see. Because I might be using a weapon it uses. Oh no, we're good. Get some cover, Nomad. You gotta get patched up. Target hit. Watch out for yourself. Got it. But thanks for taking the time. Ooh. 2,500 skill credits. Ingredients. Stuff like that. We have the plates. A weapon. That's level 93. Another LMG, by the way. But, ooh. A 93 version of the G28. Boys, we got a good amount of stuff from this mother flipper. At one go. We're good. They don't know we're here. Although the LMG ate through a lot of our ammo, and I don't know what ammo that was. Hold on. Uh, it ate through my 5.56 ammo. Fat rip on that. So we're 93 here. Uh, 93 here. So we'll go ahead and kind of, you know... Ooh, that's going to eat through my 7.62 again. A 93. Um, Alright. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Dismantle. Go um, make sure we didn't pick up any other things here while we were here. 
which we didn't, so we're good. G28. Uh, let's go ahead and make this go to Mark II, I believe, because that's metal parts, 40, 48 of them, 46. Um, I don't know about Mark III-ing it, so we're just going to leave it at this, because I don't think it's going to be good enough for a Mark III, but we'll leave it at that. Um, because it doesn't get a lot of ammo, and one of my guns needs is ammo. It has to have ammo. Um, extended under barrel, we're going to go with the grip pod, modify, bring it to this, and you guys can see we've done that. I'm not worried about upgrading any of this or changing any of it because I'm just going to get rid of it later, but you guys can see we're in 91, and I want to get my pants and boots to 90, which boots are usually easy to find anyways. So let's go look for a place to get pants and boots from, which usually will show up quite nicely. Uh, this has gloves, not worried about gloves. This has a helmet, not worried about helms. Not worried about that. Pants and boots is what I'm worried about. More gloves, and it's actually purples. That's great. Um, boots and pants. Yes, please. Oh, while in a firefight, I can't change. What am I firefighting? There's nothing here. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. It just took a second. Uh, where was that again? It was this, wasn't it? Yep. And it's so close, I think we might even just run it. We don't even need the heli. Again, guys, it's very simple to get your stuff up. Um, again, welcome back to the channel, Me Too, which I caught you earlier. But I don't know, like, if you heard it or not. So I'll go ahead and say it now, just in case you click in as the video upload. FaZe already knows because I talked to you. Um, if you guys are joining into the stream... Don't be afraid of leaving a comment. Um, I actually welcome you guys chatting, and I mean, I don't mind if you shit talk me at all, as long as it's playful, if you're just shit talking me just to shit talk me for fun, but we're gonna be good friends afterwards, I don't mind it, but don't come in here saying I'm shit, and then I actually mean it, because then, you know, you're not gonna get to add me as a friend, um, more than likely you probably don't care about that, but, yeah, more than likely you won't, and it's only 600, so yeah, we'll just walk in. To the base without a problem i'd rather be able to stay stealth as much as i can so that's what we're going to do we're going to run stealth with this rifle a little bit and see how it works i mean to be honest i think it's still going to be headshots are going to be the main kills but everything should be okay i prefer like grabbing an m4 and then carrying the uh, terminator rifle on me but yeah, ooh, we're getting a lot of these seeds, man. No fur seeds or whatever. That's good cells. Alright, I'm waiting to see where this weapons crates and clothing crates are. So we can get the stuff done. Alright. I hear a guy like he's like two feet from me. He's right here. I love the night vision in this game because when you're not looking at light, it's so clear. The thermal needs to be better. The way they've done the thermal should have been like this, but with blue. Um, it should be clear. It shouldn't be all fuzzy like. But it's fine. Those are okay. I see a gun's case. Oh, they're fighting a Terminator. Um, and I kind of deleted my Terminator gun because I want to get like a level 90 something variant, like a higher variant of it. Oh, that's a gun turret. And I'm about to go up in level. Drop him. Check your positions. 
Drop him. How about I drop you? Oh, a deagle at level 91. It's actually worse than the pistol we have now, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, gun case. This is the, uh... The H... Hold on. I couldn't read it. Too busy looking for that dude. Um, there's another crate. It's actually on the other four above us. We gotta go grab. It's still in the same room. It's up here. Now, I'm hoping for the pants and the boots. Remember that, guys. Cross it. And on top of the crate. What are you? Be the pants or the boots, please. Nope, it is a purple 416 at level 92. Actually, what are both of my gun levels? Because I might trade out the LMG if it's too low. Uh, it is a 93. They're both 93s. So with that said, it's purple, but I can't use it. Same as like, this is purple, but, well not purple, but blue, but I can't use it because it's too low of level. I'm looking for the pants and the boots, and I'm hoping they're going to drop at 90. So we still got a little bit more to go. That's a mortar. Oh, it's a helicopter? Oh, that's a fat rip, dude. Oh, I hit him. Killed him. I prefer this aim. Because of that, to me it's much better to aim with the uh, outer aim than it is with the um, inside aim. But some of you guys might actually prefer the other one more. We gotta take out that heli or it's gonna keep us pinned. And there's the terminator that we can't kill. Alright, let's just worry about getting these crates, man. Without going going for the Okay, so that's my boots. 93, yes. It dropped it to 90. That's good. That's better than this. And it's actually blue and gives me XP bonus. Nice. Um There we go. So now you can see we're at 91 now on that. And now we're just working on getting my pants at a 90. inside this building no it isn't that's a fat rip that means I'm gonna be taking bullet damage he died just as I shot his head this terminator is gonna be a pain in my butt mr. terminator fight someone else please I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to hunt you. I'm not here to fuck with you. Just attack the people that you that is attacking you. Yes, good Terminator. Please don't attack me. He's going for me. Fucking hell, dude. I'm gonna knock him on his ass and then I'm gonna go for the crate. Even though I don't have the Terminator gun, I have to knock him on his ass. About to go to his ass. Hold on. When he reaches about halfway, he'll fall on his ass. There we go. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Open it, you dumb fuck. Before he gets up and starts shooting, please. All that skill credits? Oh, you're fucking kidding me, game. You're fucking kidding me. There's the pants. It's a 91. Yes. Dismantle this quickly. 
All my stuff for 90s. I want to go for this last thing. Oh, there's another purple. Mies wants every pickup I can get. This ain't the purple one. Purple one's back here somewhere. That's a blue. 91. We have a purple somewhere right here. It's probably this dude. No, it's not. It's this dude. What did we get? That's purple. Oh, it's a shotgun. It's a 92 shotgun. I mean, it's not bad. Purple means I get the other things, but I need to get this crate. Where is it? Don't tell me it's, like, up top somewhere. Oh, it's not. It's right here. It's out in the fudging open, dude. Oh, he's he got knocked down by my team. Game, I'm standing right in front of the fudging crate. Dude, you're going to literally say I can't open this crate. That's a rip. Dude, I think they messed this crate up. Hold on. I think it's like the crate wants you to open it. Yes, I've seen that. It, it is. It is. It is. It is. They put this, this crate reversed on here. To open it, you have to kind of like get on this side. And I've seen it for a split second when I was hopping down. If you guys go rewind it, you'll see what I'm on about. Now we just need a Terminator gun, but I don't have it on me right now, and that crate does not want me to open it, so I'm just going to get out of here. And this way is not the way out. I'm actually going to use this door to put space between me and the Terminator. And... Oof, there's no back door on this side. That's fine. What I'm going to do is go this way. <sighs> Fudge, that door is not openable. Um, I could cheese the moment, but doing so is going to put me right in the middle of this base and with more enemies again, and I don't feel like having that happen. So I'm just going to cheese the fudge out of here for a moment. I didn't mean to go to my pistol. I meant to, like, do this to go to my, my LMG. Okay, I got 400. Okay, Heli, you're a pain in my butt. Get out of here. Terminator's like right behind me. I'm looking to see if these guys dropped anything because sometimes they will. Fudging Terminator, dude. I need to figure out how to lose this guy like right now because he actually, I think, runs as fast as I do or outruns me. Uh, there's a green item drop right over here. Do I want it? No, I do not. I'm going to put a tree between us. And then I'm going to swim across this fudging thing and hopefully, wait a minute, it's probably going to be able to be, yeah, it's going to be walked throughable. And that's another Terminator. Uh, to my right, boys. That's how ridiculous the Terminators are. Oh, I'm actually outrunning this Terminator, just barely, because of the water. But he's going to start catching up here in a second. Actually, my team might might knock him down and, and give me some better time. That, they actually gave me some better time. Good to know. So he can make it out here, but he's, like, right on that, like, sideline bit. Vanished. All right. We are going to go this way and continue on till my map is clear. And then we're going to fast travel to a Bivik or to the place I want to go to. And the place I want to go to is the main base. So with that said, let's just kind of, yeah, and to the point where I'm still like 100% noticed, so I can't like hide just yet. Uh, you're going to give me that and not a uh, thing that I need, which is actually just ammunitions. Oh. Alright, take these guys out. Good night, boys. Two shots is all I needed. What's bo- Oh, dude, really? The fucking Terminators right there, dude. Uh, actually, I got an idea. 
Let's get in the truck and just get the f GTFO out of here, bro. As fast as possible. My team will fast travel to me. Pretty much and be in the car. I don't know how deep it is here, but we're going to get out and swim. It was pretty deep. Our vehicle sank almost to the bottom. And our map is white. That is good news, boys. Let's go ahead and pull this out and... Oh, we got a case here. We'll go ahead and grab it since we're here. Um, how many question marks can we see from here? And go ahead and just locate them for a moment. It's a question mark up here. Uh, we're alerted again. I don't know what the fuck is... Okay, almost alerting us. Wait a minute. Another Bivik. While we're here, it's not bad to go ahead and just start using our drone and just scanning the location around us. Let's go grab this and then fast travel back to the uh, main location. It says there's like a yellow thing here as well. Cold War site, alright. Alright, we're gonna grab... Come on, dude, I was literally just going this way. Open this crate. Okay, 416 at that level was not needed. Let's go ahead and take a look. Nothing here is good enough to make my pay grade, so before we do that, I'm thinking we'll keep this one, keep the uh, 416, the MPX can be scrapped, because we'll sell those two, uh, sell those three weapons, and let's see, okay. Let's go back, go to here, and see what we get. As you guys can see, my character is pretty good. What you guys seen a little bit ago. Hello, took Dad. Out, took out the two other patrols. Um, what's up there, FaZe? Welcome back, FaZe. Um, we're going to be going back to this, and then after we're done with this, I'm going to be ending stream, and then just pretty much waiting for, uh, Saws to get on. When Saws gets on, we're going to see if he gets this game. If he does, I'll have another stream coming late tonight for that, but if he doesn't, then I might do a Modern Warfare stream. I really don't know yet. One, because it's probably going to be, um against cheaters because i play warzone on um, you have another plunder. son <laughs> on plunder my brother your brother <laughs> all right man all right all right well, lol your life would go. never mind that makes Don't that makes that. what we got eli You're back. then we have the three kids that's with someone else then we have you we have luke we have Lulu, and we have your brother. Dude, I have seven kids, dude. Oof. So I'm a father of seven. <laughs> I need something to help me pay for this child support and foods. Because I'm not on food stamps. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, let's see what's through here. And it comes back. After what you did in Freeport, only the best for you. We're going to go to sell, and you can see we got these nice beastly weapons here to sell. So we're at 5k. See, nothing there. I will pay child support, don't you worry about it. <laughs> Alright, I got some EMP grenades to throw away. I got some seeds earlier right here. 
<laughs> Alrighty, man. Sweet, sweet. Oh, no, I want to stay in the shop, dude. I'm so bad at things, man. I'm used to hitting circle to get out Give of Give me the gun. Give you the gun. I've got all the best stuff. Ooh. You still have and he gave me the gun. 450. We'll take this. Oh, I bought the... Oh, a millionaire? Did I really already make a million or so in this game? That's a rip. I didn't know I did. Okay, we got this now, which could be a 92 or 98. We found one of the LMGs here. Yep. Uh, this is a 95. I think the other one we had was 94, but we'll go ahead and take it. And we are going to need to go here. Grab that. All right. How you feeling about? We need to go over here. Grab our new vest, which is going to be right here. Um, it's only better because it's a higher level, not because of like the parts on it. Let's see. We have this, which again is going to be a higher level, not because of the parts on it. We have a 94, which I'm going to take for the higher level, I think. Yeah. Those two we're going to sell. Um, we have a 94 we can throw on. So that's what we're looking at. Um, this can come over here now. This LMG can be s sold. My pistol come over here. There we go. So we're at 93. Right, come over here and sell the things we don't need into the shop. Hello, shoppy. And time to go sell. There we go. Give it a minute to load because it, you know, takes a minute sometimes. Look around. See what you like. None of the weapons are sellable. You're kidding me, right? Okay, at least this is able to be sold. All right. Looks like through this other bit, we just, you know, remove from preset and do that. Move from preset, dismantle it. Alright. Move from preset, dismantle it. And I'm going to go for an M4. I don't know about you guys, but... Are you ready for this fight? I don't like the the sniper, so I'm gonna quickly go grab me an M4A1. So if we go here, we go over, and we're gonna I've grab ourselves an M4 stuff. at 93. Nice. It, it says 92 to 98, which is not bad. We got 93, which I think is. The same as that one is, which is good. And then what we're going to do is remove from preset and get rid of it. And we're going to see if we can't level our thing up. Mark 3. Let's go. Metal parts. Metal parts. Rifle parts. Rifle parts. High-end weapon. Advanced part. And now we need high-end in this one. And it'll be a max... Uh, max mark three like this is let's see you got pistol do i have the stuff for the pistol i do i actually just need high-end pistol parts dude oof and it'll be a max mark three i'm about to have three things at max mark three dude that is a rip and we're actually 93 with most of this stuff too let's go all right i kind of like that And we're back to our weapons I carry around, so if we run into Terminators, we'll be able to kill them. 
And the good thing with the weapon I'm holding now, this thing holds like 950 ammo and it has 27 damage. This holds 160 ammo and has 64 damage. This holds, I don't know how much, like, you know, same as this, so 950 ammo and does 32 damage. It actually has more damage than the actual assault rifle, which scares me, because I feel like this should be more damaging than any pistol in the game, and so should this, which that already is, but this needs a buff, and some of the assault rifles might. Because a level, well, it is a level 95 compared to a 93. So maybe it's the, the, the higher level is what's causing it. So maybe if I can get a level 95 M4A1, it might fix that. But boys, we will be able to break a like level 100 today. Easy. If I kept playing this for another hour to two hours, I'd definitely be level 100. But we're going to have to end stream here, guys. But you guys watched me go from... Um, a very low level 80, like 82, 83, all the way up to 93. So we basically just done 10, uh, 10 light level slash things right here in front of you guys. Compared to me playing Destiny for two or three days and only going up in three light levels. That's how fucking stupid Destiny is. So, honestly, great. Hope you guys liked and enjoyed this stream. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe button if you haven't already yet. If this stream was helpful for you too at the very beginning of this, even going through and watching me go to 93, um, and you guys learn how to do that, uh, then it's all good. You guys can see it's just a, a multitude of going out and getting your level up to like maybe um, that flat 5 or 6 at the end. So we'll say 90, it'll be 95, 96. Coming back here, buying all your gear down to the max tier you can get it. Make sure it's higher than what you're already doing. Go back out again and find gear, and you're basically just going to be going in, in that pedaling motion of forward really quickly on your gear. And if you guys want to support me further, don't forget we do have two different shops down below. One of the shops will tell you in the description of it uh how, when it was made and when it's going to be ending meaning leaving the platform no longer be able to be gotten again so it's up to you guys if you guys want to go buy that now again there is a deadline for that shop so if you want that when it's the best clothing you see between the two you gotta go get that now within like basically a month and something or two months and that's all you guys get with that and then it's down to the original regular shop um and then when we hit error 2k subs then i'll make another shop that is branded as well that will be for the 2k subs and that'll be around for a month or two months so every 1000 subs will have a new t-shirt and like stuff line like that with like gear and it will be marked very low and every time we get to that two, that two that 1000 marker so 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 marker you know stuff like that the shops will drop in price. So you guys will get discounts every 1,000 subs uh, in the shop. So right now we are running a discount, but in the future, that discount will be going back up. Everything right now that's in there is um, – I, I wouldn't know the percentage discount because I wanted to make sure I still made a little bit of money, but I'm not making a lot. I'm only making a dollar per purchase. Um but that will be going up to something like four or five dollars per purchase after the two month marker. So they're going to be plenty more expensive. Um, so I want to say they're probably marked down, but I wouldn't say they're fully discounted. But they are marked down to where I only make a dollar. So, for instance, one of my things I believe is like twenty five dollars and I only make a dollar from that. So with that said, if I want to go to 4 or $5, it's probably going to be ending up around 28 to $30. So right now, get it while it's a little bit cheaper um, and when I'm not making as much. But you will be supporting me basically by a dollar. Um, now for UK guys, everything is going to be a little bit more expensive because you guys make more money. And when I was doing the conversions into us dollar to the currency which i think is a euro um the euro is a little bit more than a dollar 
So with that said, I had to kind of do a conversion rate for you guys. So you guys have about what the U.S. dollar would be compared to how much you guys pay or something like that. Or maybe it's a little bit less. I don't what I don't know what it is right now, but I know I had to mark it where I make a dollar from you guys as well, which is like one dollar more than uh, what it would be for U.S. If it's U.S., it's 25 for you guys. It's 26 um, because I think you guys are like less than a dollar when it comes to a dollar for some reason when you guys i think are supposed to be more but i think that could just be a conversion issue going on with the website but i had to do that in order to make that one dollar i'm sorry boys but as always i do hope you guys like and enjoy the content and hope you guys like and enjoy the merch and you guys can leave me uh tips in discord like hey i love the merch about like this or can you create the merch like that and give me some you know criticism on the merch as, as you guys buy as you guys buy it or looking through the page to help make me get the merch around a little bit more but i kind of wanted to be different than what most youtubers are most youtubers have like a one fully color it's just a gray shirt with like tier one tier one tier one tier one like just all over the fucking shirt I wanted to do like an actual design onto the shirt and then add my logo to it or do a design on the shirt, have have it say something and have my logo. So it's a little bit different and it feels a little bit more towards that like nice cool brand than something it just has like one million words of the same word all over it. Um, but again, I hope you guys do enjoy that content and merch. Till next time, love you.